Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for Jasmine's Hobbyland. Happy Friday, everybody. 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. It's a four-box Ram team break number five. It's the uh, first half of a fresh case. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Remember, we combo. We only sell 28 spots. We combo some teams. Cardinals, Nationals, Orioles, and Cubs. Let's randomize each list. Three and a six, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We got DC on the pole, Jeremy in the 28 spot. Once again, three and a six, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. The Diamondbacks on top, the Reds on the bottom. All right, Don, you have the Diamondbacks. Derek with the Mets. Karen with the Tigers. Lee Keller with the Angels. Angels got Otani. It's crazy. Mike Coons, Rangers. Josh Proust with the Pirates. Colin Matoy with the A's. DC with the Mariners. Mariners. Probably, they were probably the second choice. Missed out on Otani. Nelson with the Phillies. Alfonso, Orioles and Cubs. Not sure if the Cubs are ever in on Otani. Scott Smith, Indians. DC, Royals. Ro uh, Blue Jays for Chad. Michael with the Marlins. White Sox going to Lee Keller. Scott Smith with the Padres. I thought the Padres were going to get Otani. I thought they were pretty close. Uh, DC with the Giants. Alex Donnelly with the Brew Crew. Red Sox going to Rich. DC with the Astros and the Rockies. Darren with the Rays. Don with the Yankees. Mike Coons with the Braves. DC, we got our Dodgers right there. Dodgers, I think, I think people thought they were close, but they might not have been as close as we thought. For on uh, Otani, Twins for Anthony, uh, Mobin. You've got the Cardinals and Nationals combo, and Jeremy with the Red Legs. So there you have it, folks. Let me print this out. Feel free to trade if you would like. I know a lot of people may not be interested in trading, but. Don is good with his team, so we might just go. While, while we're figuring that out, let's see which uh, half of the case we're going to do. We'll go one, two, three for the uh, top row of four boxes, and then four, five, six for the bottom row. And at six, it'll be the bottom row. The top row, I'll mark with a Sharpie when I find one. My stuff is. I have this thin sharpie. We'll have to listen. This will. This will have to do. So this will save. Here we'll we'll mark these with X's. And we'll probably be breaking this in like in a couple hours anyway. So I'll just leave those boxes right next to me here. You can kind of see how they're. Marked with X's. That'll be for break five. That is already in the store. All right. Uh, I don't think there's any trade, so I'm going to type in TWC in the chat, which stands for trade window closed. All right. Here's the final printout, the final list. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Um, Abner asking, what uh, what's the first product that Otani will be in? I'm not sure. Bowman Chrome, maybe. But it, but in like an Angels uniform. Gosh, that might not be for a little bit. 
But yeah, he was in one product in, in 17, right? I think it was a retail product. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was only in like one retail product. Um, I don't remember. It was obviously his, uh, his Japan League uniform. I like the lip of this right here. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It, it might be a minute or two before we see him in, um, in uh, whatchamacallit, in, uh, in his Angels uniform. So there'll probably be, it'll be interesting to see what kind of photography that they're gonna use, right? You're probably gonna see his first, uh, uh, first card with him like at a press conference. You know, holding up, uh, holding up his jersey or something like that. Um, and then I guess in spring training, you'll you'll see some spring training photography, and that'll that'll be in products after that. And then they'll have a whole slew of uh, of photography for future products for the rest of that year. Yeah, I could see them, uh, they could possibly like Photoshop in a jersey if it's not one of like these action shots, you know, maybe in like a product where it's just like, like a dynasty product where it's just the person or more of an artsy sort of product. I could see, I could see that. All right, here is our first box of four. Good luck, everybody. So once again, as, as everyone knows, paper does not ship. So we're going to kind of breeze through these paper cards. Obviously, all this chrome will ship and any numbered paper will ship. So all of this stuff will go. Sorry, all of this paper will not go. Just FYI. I'm sure everyone has read the item description. So none of that paper goes, but all of this chrome will go. And all of this numbered chrome, obviously, will go too. Uh, 395 out of 399, Joseph Dunand for the Marlins. That'll be for Michael G. Connor asking, when will Chronicle 6, 7, and 8 ship? I believe that's already been shipped. I don't think any of that is here in the store. So everyone should receive automated tracking emails to their email. So And some, sometimes it ends up in your spam folder, so be sure to check your spam folder for tracking numbers. Paper. Numbered paper obviously will still ship. 46 out of 250. Desmond Lindsay purple paper for the Mets. Derek Moore. So Connor, I would double check your spam folder if you've not received a tracking number. If you still don't see it there, shoot us an email, Jaspie's Hobbyland land, Jaspie's Hobbyland at gmail.com and they can dig one up for you or give you an update on what's going on. But generally shipping happens uh, a few days after uh, after the break at the latest. Griffin Canning, unless it's like a long break like this where there's a lot of sorting, that might take an extra day. But Or if it's wrapped around a weekend, that might take an extra day or so. But business day-wise, one to three business days generally. Uh, for the Angels, Lee Keller with the 47th overall pick gets Griffin Canning. So the Angels... Flexing their off-season muscle, their hot stove muscle, with Otani, getting Kevin Maiton from the uh, Braves. Well, not from the Braves. The Braves just lost him. That's all. Um, and so, uh, the, you know, we'll we'll see if uh, the Angels and the Angels actually had a pretty good season last year. If you think about it, they didn't have Mike Trout for a good chunk of the season. Out of two, out of four ninety nine, Brian Miller paper for the Marlins. It'll be for Michael G. And they got they got pretty close actually to maybe sneaking into a playoff spot late in the season. So that team might be closer than people think. You add Otani, you know, 
They re-signed Justin Upton, I believe. And so, you know, they may they may add a couple more pieces here and there. The next thing you know, you might be a playoff team. And once you're in the playoffs, that's all it takes. Uh, Christopher Cisse. Or Saisi. Not sure how that's pronounced. Uh, 143 out of 499. There you go. Your 29th overall pick. Late first round pick for the Rangers. That goes to Mike Koontz. There's Kevin Maiton right there, speaking of. It's not numbered. I think all the numbered paper cards are in between, like, the set of chrome cards, if there is one. Tristan McKenzie for the Tribe, 16 out of 250. First rounder for the Indians in 2015. You might see him coming up the ranks soon for the Indians. That'll go to Scott Smith and the Tribe. Breeze through this paper. Nice Will Smith. He's a he's a, he's a big uh, catching prospect for the Dodgers. It's players like him. He's he might be only a year or two away. It might be him. Players like him that uh, let have the Dodgers or have convinced the Dodgers to possibly let go of Yasmani Grandal because of players like Will Smith getting jiggy with it. There you go. See how the paper, the numbered paper, is hiding between those chrome cards, and that is Michael Kopech, 43 out of 499. It's the fireballer for the Chicago White Sox, Lee Keller, with that one. And these refractors are not numbered, in case you were wondering, but they obviously they'll ship because they're chrome cards. And we'll breeze through this paper. And here's the last stack of the first box. Should be expecting one more autograph. There's blue paper, Anderson Espinoza out of 150. The Padres have quietly built a pretty nice farm system. I thought they were going to get Otani. I thought they were going to be pretty close to that. Scott Smith with that one. That would have really bol bolstered their team, but it's with the Angels now. We got Drew Waters for the Braves at a 399. Uh, Mike Koontz with the Bravos. And your autograph, your third and final auto of this box, Logan Warmoth for the Blue Jays. Toronto Blue Jays, that goes to Chad. Nice, 22nd overall pick for the Blue Jays. Nice. It's just paper right there. Let's see if you have any other, other parallels maybe. I think I saw maybe a little green. No, maybe I was wrong. Psych myself out. Oh, there it is. There's some green. There's a for, uh, Fernando Tatis's kid. Fernando Tatis Jr., 85 out of 99. Avoid soft drinks during the season. That's good. And that's, that's the rest right there. And there you go. Nice first box. We'll top load all of these sleeved cards here too. We'll leave the autos out here so we can kind of keep track of them throughout the break. And next box. Good luck, everybody. Remember, the uh, second half of the case is in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Got plenty of other, other uh, baseball on the site too, jazbeeshobbyland.com. So check it out. So what did everyone uh, what did everyone think about the um, about the Otani signing? Was everyone people surprised about the Angels? I know the Angels were definitely named as one of the finalists, but were, were people surprised? You think he was going to go to the Mariners? Mariners with that big D Gordon trade also got like a million dollars of international pool money, which I think they were hoping to use to to lure Otani to the Mariners. But in the end, it did not help. So, but I don't know if that 
still a decent move. I know they gave up a lot of a lot of their top organizational prospects, but they still have D Gordon. You know, so we'll be playing center field. That's a that's a pretty exciting top of the lineup. Alex Donnelly says, I'm a Mariners fan, so it sucked. Man, I, I, I thought, I mean, the Mariners made it such a big play for them and opened up all this cap space and made all this room, and I think they made a good pitch. But maybe just some, something, I mean, well, I'm sure we'll find out more details on, on what the main factors were as we, as we get more information. But I, I really thought, I really thought it was going to be Padres or Mariners. I thought Padres or Mariners. The Angels were a bit of a surprise to me when I woke up and saw that news. All right, next box. We got a green Justice Sheffield. 57 out of 99 for the Yankees. That'll go to DC. DC, uh, Jordan Sheffield, his brother, is in our Dodgers organization. I think he should be hitting double A in Tulsa next season. And we got blue Seth Elridge, speaking of the Mariners. 385 out of 399. That'll go to DC. Don with the Mariners. Actually, let me flip these around. The right side up. Peloy Ramos, three oh nine out of four ninety nine paper to four ninety nine going to the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo, Oppo Don Mojo as well. San Francisco baseball Giants. Some more paper. And we've got our first autograph out of this box is Jeter Downs. That's a big pick for the Red Legs. Cincinnati. Red Legs goes to Jeremy Anderson. Nice. Purple Jeter Downs. 90 out of 250 for the 32nd overall pick. A big pick for the Reds as well. Nice. All right, next stack. There's Mark Vientos, 23 out of 499. That'll go to the Mets, that'll be for Derek Moore. Will Benson, nice, out of 200, 178 out of 200 for the Tribe. That'll go to Scott Smith. There's Derek Jeter. And Charlie Barnes for the Twins is your autograph for Anthony. There you go, Anthony. Anthony with the Twins. Nice fourth round pick. Obviously, Twins have the first overall pick hiding in here somewhere too, Royce Lewis. There's Luis Gonzalez, 100 out of 399. 
Troy is his favorite movie. It's interesting. Of all the movies that you could pick, favorite movie is Troy. Troy? Yeah. Is that with... Uh, it's with uh, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt? Yeah, and Eric Bana. And that. Orlando Bloom. It's That's okay. Your favorite movie? No, it's it's Chicago White Sox prospect Luis Gonzalez's favorite movie. Oh, says on the back it's there. Helio Ramo. It's I mean it's okay, but I mean I, yeah. You know it's like it's like if you see it on like TNT or something like that, you're like yeah okay. I'm not doing anything today, <laughs> you know this afternoon maybe you watch it a little bit. You know, but I wouldn't call it my favorite movie. Luis Gonzalez should watch more movies. Luis, if you're listening, watch more movies. Ren McKay might be your other two-way player next to Otani. That might that might be the future, ladies and gentlemen. There's Cody Sedlock for the Orioles, 219 out of 250. I mean, if you think about it, right? Every every decade, players are getting bigger, faster, stronger. That goes to uh, Alfonso with the Orioles. So, you know, you've got, in basketball, you you have, like, guys that are, like, the height of centers, you know, who can move, like, point guards and shoot threes. So, it may not be too long before we start seeing more players who can be at least somewhat accomplished as two-way players. There's Luis Gonzalez again. His favorite movie, everyone? Troy. Troy. You know, there it is. Out of four ninety nine. Grew up idolizing Mike Trout, loves carne asada, cites Troy as favorite movie. Bilingual as well. I like Trout. So uh, Troy. Alright, right, boss man, I'll see you. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks. Um Jackie's gonna do Star Wars tomorrow too. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Should be exciting. Next box, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a box top. Nice. We'll save that till the end. Curtis, you gotta say that beforehand, then I can actually say goodbye to him for you. Gotta be quicker on that. All right, so early predictions. What does everyone think about uh, Shohei Otani? What do you think? Uh, what do you think he can accomplish? What are your expectations for him as a as a baseball fan? You think he'll? Uh, you think he is an average hitter, average pitcher? Think he becomes a great pitcher, but not a not the hitter that people expected? Or is he a great hitter and not a good pitcher? How will he be deployed? I'm assuming that the Angels are going to initially would like to use him as a, as a starter and then have him DH in between starts. I think that that was the general idea. You know, have him have him start and every you know every fifth day, and uh, you know give him a day off after a start, and then I think have him DH two or three days in the middle, and then another start. From my understanding, from my understanding, uh, Otani is uh, projects more favorably as a as a pitcher. So if all else fails, I think he could you know quote unquote fall back on on his hundred mile per hour fastball. There's Cash Case for the Red Legs, three forty one uh, forty one out of three ninety nine. Actually, turn these around here. So they're right side up. Okay. And 
And there's Jeter Downs again. Big prospect for the Reds. It's another one for Jeremy Anderson. There you go, Jeremy. Nobody has thoughts on, on Ot Otani and their expectations? Apparently not. ESPN kid, what's going on? We got Taylor Trammell, purple paper, 111 out of 250. Another one for Jeremy and the Red Legs. And look at this, Joe Adele, defining moments autograph, nice. Four out of 99 for the Angels. That might mean a bonus auto, I think. Sometimes when they include an insert auto, there'll be a bonus auto. Hey, Dennis. I think th I think that's it. Whatever is there, that's it. Is there nothing there? Oh, then nothing. I was not told anything. No one told me. No, we have nothing. Okay, then. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Dennis. All right, See you. Sure. All right, there's Kyle Lewis, 83 out of 200, 11th overall pick. He's a big prospect for the uh, for the Mariners. The ESPN kid Ryan says my Otani expectations are very middle of the road. He's gonna he thinks he's gonna stretch himself too thin, batting and pitching. And on an AL team, doing both will be tougher. I think the good news about Otani, there's Jacob Heatherly out of 499, is that because he declared, because he posted so early, he's not subjected to those big, insane international contracts, those large contracts that um, guys like Hugh Darvish and, and uh, other players got, you know, for the top end ones, Tanaka, etc. So he's essentially signed to a minor league deal, I think, and maybe just the minimum on a pro contract or something like that on a major league contract. Dylan Carlson. So I think what's cool about that, that's for the Redbirds out of 250, Mobin with that one. What's cool about that is that there's very low risk. Like the risk is really low. Like the ceiling is super high, you know, but the risk is the risk is very low. Like this Bowman draft break, it's only twenty bucks a spot. You can get some monster prospects that go for many many times the cost of admission, and the second half is in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com. But I think that's the good part about Otani. Low risk, so you can kind of just you can kind of experiment with him, see what his body can handle over the course of a. Uh, over the course of a regular season, a regular major league season. Wow, Brent Roker, or Rooker, gold wave. Gold wave. That goes to Brent, uh, the Brent Rooker goes to the Twins, Anthony. Nice, 26 out of 50. And there you go. Who is the current? I don't. I don't. Who would be the the best hitting pitcher currently? Madison Bumgarner, Zach Granke can hit pretty well. Kershaw can swing a decent bat. James Marinin out of 399. Bartolo Colon can rake, says Curtis.
Yeah, there's the bonus auto. Zach Kirtley for the Cardinals. Mobin with the Cardinals Nationals combo. Nice. There you go, some bonus autos. Can't complain about that. All right, final box coming up. And then the box hopper at the end. Yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess uh, Madison Bumgarner would probably be the best hitting pitcher. It's, I guess it'd be hard to evaluate Mike Tower just simply because, you know, a lot of those National League pitchers don't have a chance to hit too often. So the sample size is, is always pretty small. Be interesting. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Otani, if if he's successful, encourages others to do what he does. In fact, the guy that's on the cover of of this Bowman draft right here, Brendan McKay, he is trying to be one of those two way players. He wants to hit and pitch. So the Tampa Bay Rays have got Dar uh, Brendan McKay. I wonder, did, did they draft him out of college? I wonder how close he is to uh, how close he is to actually playing or coming up to the majors. Mike Tower says, "Hey, guessing that a good pitcher is more valuable than a good hitter." I think that depends on what your school of thought is, but um, but I think generally speaking, I guess it's harder to find good pitching. You know, and if you get to a situation where you're talking about elite players, Clayton Kershaw is making, you know, almost thirty million dollars for only playing thirty some odd games a year, right? At best. If he makes like 30 starts or something like that, plus playoffs. Meanwhile, like Mike Trout gets like the same contract, I think, yearly average annual salary. And he play, you know, ideally he's playing 162 games a year. So I guess in that respect, I guess, yeah, you know, like pitching can be more expensive, more valuable. Ernie Clement, 30 out of 70. Indians, that'll go to Scott Smith. We got Connor Wong for the Dodgers, 42 out of 99, 100th overall pick. Another catching prospect for the Dodgers coming up the ranks. Who's got our, uh, I think DC, right? Got our Dodgers? Yeah, DC with the Dodgers. And Griffin Canning, I think we saw him earlier. Purple Chrome Griffin Canning, Angels. Lee Keller with the Angels. Big coup for the Angels today, of course, if you haven't heard the news. Big international signing Otani going to the Angels. Taking his talents to Orange County. <laughs> Not exactly South Beach in Anaheim. DZ, what's going on? Then we've got Lazarito Armenteros, 89 out of 150 for the A's. That'll go to Colin, Colin Matoy with the A's. Tyler Freeman. Out of four ninety nine. 
Vlad Guerrero Jr. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Cole Brannon for the Red Sox. That'll be for Rich. It's kind of a cool autograph he has there. Nice second round pick. Red Sox, of course, have had a strong farm system for a long time. For the Angels, Nani Williams, 37 out of 200. Paper here, great. Almost done here, ladies and gentlemen. Then we'll go through some orders and we'll see what we have next. paper and the last stack and then the box topper so remember folks second half of the case is in the store right now 20 bucks a spot low risk high reward Alex Lanch for the Cubs that will be a blue chrome for Alfonso out of 399 99 out of 399 or maybe a light blue I think the blues are actually 100 out of 150 or something like that Then we got Adam Hasley out of 399, 111 out of 399. That goes to the Phillies. That'll be for Nelson. And the last bit. So we have our three autographs. So unless there's a bonus autograph, I think that might be it for the for the hits. That's it, right? It's just paper. Yeah, maybe another parallel. Oh. Alright, we got. Wow. We were just talking about Brendan McKay. There's your bonus auto at the end. Blue Wave bonus auto for the Tampa Bay Rays. DMAC, Darren McKenzie. That is strong. 99 out of 150. Your fourth overall pick by the Rays this season. Collegiate player of the year. Went 11 and 3 with a 2.56 ERA and then hit 341 with 18 home runs and 57 RBIs. So he's a premium two way threat. So, <laughs> he's legit, apparently. We'll see how he does. It doesn't say what college he played. What college? Does anyone remember? We'll look it up after the break. But there you go. That is a, that is a pretty big hit right there. He's on the cover of the box, folks. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice break, very nice break. Let's see what's in here. Let's use, I need a, let's open it this way. Hi Diego, yes it is. Breaks right here on this channel. So buy in on 10 breaks.com. We've got Shane Boz, 40 out of 99. No autograph, but that's pretty nice. First round, 12th overall pick. Forty out of ninety-nine, nice box topper for the Pirates, and that goes to Josh Pruce. And there you have it, folks. Joe for JaspiesHobbyland.com. There's the website right there. We got the second half of the case in the store. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.